Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the third night of our All You Need Is Love Spring Fling virtual performances inside the Bank Theater. I'm Corey Robertson. Folks, we've been at this for a couple of nights now, and we're so thrilled that you have joined us once again for this virtual pass the hat event. Now we do recommend a $20 ticket, but we know that times are tough and we're grateful for every dollar you can afford. So if you've got $5, if you've got 10, if you've got 50 for us, rest assured, we're going to put every dollar of that to good hard work to keep the performing arts alive right here in Leamington and Essex County. We're so thrilled to kick up our performances yet another notch with our third couple, and it is Mary and Richard. Mary Newland and Richard Baker uh, met uh, years ago while both working professionally out in Los Angeles. Mary has uh, sung with the likes of the Beach Boys, Beth Hart, Saga, and Richard has played keys for the likes of Gary Wright, Gino Vanelli, and Santana. And we're just thrilled to have them inside the Bank Theater and here for you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, please enjoy Mary and Richard. I remember the days of just keeping time, of hanging around in sleepy towns forever. Back roads empty for miles. Well, you can't have a dream and cut it to fit. Cause when I saw you, I knew we'd go together Like a wink and a smile Leave your old jalopy By the railroad tracks We'll get a hip dab dip tip toppy To see Pontiac Well you can rev her up But don't you go slow it's only green lights and our rights We'll go together Like a wink and a smile was performed by Harry Connick Jr. Uh, for Sleepless in Seattle. Um, it was written by Mark Shaman <clears throat> and uh, Ramsey McLean. I was really sure that, based on the way the song is presented or how it comes across, that it was uh, out of the old, the Great American Songbook. And I thought for sure I would find um, a cover that uh, Frank Sinatra had done of this song, but. It's not the case. This song was written in 1993. So when I was doing this search, I put in the word wink, and I came across this little treasure that was, in fact, recorded by Frank Sinatra in 1943. I couldn't sleep a wink last night. Because we had that silly fight I 
I thought my heart would break the whole night through. I knew that you'd be sorry, and I'm sorry too. I didn't have my favorite dream, the one in which I hold you tight. I had to call you up this morning. To see if everything was still alright. Yes, I had to call you up this morning. Cause I didn't sleep a wink last night. songs. It's uh, really wonderful to recognize them because it's really what a lot of today's popular music is based on. And we're inside the Bank Theater for the third night of our All You Need Is Love Spring Fling virtual performances. And thank you so much for being a part of this. We appreciate uh, all of the financial support that you've been giving us over the last couple of days. Uh, as I've been telling you all along, it's a, we'll call it a virtual pass the hat event. So we recommend uh, a $20 uh, ticket for the show tonight. But listen, it's tough times if it's five that you can afford, if it's 50 that you can afford, whatever that is, we're most grateful for your support. And rest assured, we're going to put that money to good use, making sure that the performing arts are alive and well right here in Leamington and across Essex County. And I hope that you've been enjoying as much as I have, uh, Mary and Richard. And thank you guys so much once again for being a part of one of our fun little projects. Well, thank you for inviting us. It's yes, always, absolutely. A, always a pleasure. We, um, you know, we, we, uh, we, we, we all got together a couple of months ago uh, to do the uh, to do the Christmas one, yes. and then we all got locked down again. I know. I know. And it's just been it's it's been kind of hard on everybody, right? So it's nice to finally get out. Um, how, how have you been keeping busy? Well, we've actually been. Um seeing to a lot of projects around the house that we had been imagining and putting off. And, and so um, our house really looks like a bomb went off in it right now <laughs> because, uh, you know, you have to sort of take it apart, to put it back together. But, you know, it's all in, in um, it's all good in the long run. It'll be things that, like I said, we wanted to do. So we're, we're keeping busy with uh, home improvement. Um, I wanted to make mention of uh, the, the last time that we had this sense of, you know, we were locked down for a while and then they, they let us all out again. And you two came up with a pretty awesome idea to do this um, Monarch, uh, um, Monarch Festival. Monarch um, Music Festival, yeah, yes. Yeah, out, out at the Boonies in, in Chatham. And you yeah. kind of rounded up a bunch of the, you know, the local favorites. And it seemed like it was just really well, at, you know, people are just craving for things to do these days. It was really well it received. Was great. Yeah. It was very well received. We really enjoyed doing it. And uh, we're hoping to do it again. We want to do it every year, except next time I think we want to do it in Leamington rather than 
having to do it at a drive-in, which has got its own issues, as mm. you can imagine. And it was really the only <laughs> way we could, at, at the time, it was the yeah. only way we could yeah, do it. Yeah, it's the only thing we We'd like we to see do. Leamington have a, a music Abs festival. Absolutely, you know? yes. Be, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't, I think, in both your cases, step into the, the time machine just a, just a little bit. Um, because, you know, watching some of the footage that you, you guys put out there, when you guys ended with Oikonva at, uh, at, 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 your, at your show, and, oh. you know, and to watch you... Uh, you know, to watch Richard, to watch you ripping that song up, uh, it, it just kind of takes everybody back. And, and what a what a treat it was to watch. Thank you, thank you so much. It's a, it was a treat for me to um, be able to do it. For, you know, I think I want to ask both of you this question. You, you've 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 lived and worked a life, you know, in 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 music and and playing and working with just the best of the best. Um, and, and all of these different musical artistic experiences that bring us to where we are today. How is that, how is that when you, when you look back on, on, on those things and how, how all of those events have brought you where, where, to where you are today? How, how has that shaped you? Um, it's, it's really interesting because, um, well, over the years, you take something different from each experience, each job, each different artist that you work with. Um, and you can back it up right even to when you were little and you first started taking right. piano lessons. And for me, I started with ballet at three. So, you know, you wrap it all up and, and it becomes this um, entity um, unto itself. And, and it, it describes who you are as an artist. And I think it really makes you more well-rounded. I think that's yeah, probably it the does. best It's way. constant growth. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and you don't ever want to shut your mind off to anything because the world changes. And, you know, you're, um, if you block stuff, you, you're blocking your own creativity, you know, because people have new ideas and, and stuff that maybe you've never thought of. And so it's really interesting to try and combine what they're doing with what you've been doing. Exactly. And you come up with something that's fresh and, and mm -hmm. brand new. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's really quite exciting. And to be honest, at least for me, and I, I guess I'm sure for Mary too, we're very fortunate to have been able to be in this industry for as long as we have and actually make a living doing it because it's a, it's a, it's a rough go for artists of any, any kind, whether they're musicians or painters or sculptors or what have you. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's not easy. Yeah. And, and so, you know, there's a little luck in there, I think. You know? Probably, but I yeah. think that you know, with each artist that you work with and every project that you do, whether it's a film or a television show, or or you're writing original material, I think you know your brain is finding new neural pathways all the time. So you're you're definitely experiencing growth. You know, uh, whether that whether that's coming from the collaborative experience and being in bands or projects, Mary, you talk about that. In both your cases, you, you know, your composers, your songwriters. Where, where do you get, and I think that come, probably comes through your whole life, the, the, the artistic life, comes through all the things you do. Mary, where do you, where do you find your, the, the creative spark? What inspires you when, when you create and, and you, you practice your craft? Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I can say specifically when, for instance, if we're writing together, generally speaking, he starts with the music. And so right away that palette is there for me. Um, there's something about whatever he has written that causes me to imagine what the song is about. So the music might make me think it's a rainy day in a park or it's a couple who are having a fight or it's children playing down by the river with their dog. Or th there's always a palette that appears in my imagination when I hear what he's written. And so that describes my... Um, my vocal and my my lyric that I write. Wow, that's that is awesome, Richard. Do you do you think in like sort of little musical landscapes? Is that you know? Do you have? I've had different artists describe that to me sometimes. It's a very difficult thing to describe. Sure. Truly, truly, you know. Part of it, for me at least, um, comes from playing because I played my entire life and. Um, I've played so many different kinds of music written in so many different genres um, that um, you kind of, your imagination draws from your experience. And it's not that, I mean, I think all writers, all composers draw from the past. You know, you, you draw from 
you know, Johann Sebastian Bach, who basically said it all a long time ago in his way, but he set the stage for all of us in many, many ways. And so, um, you know, you, um, you kind of draw on all of that past experience and what you've heard, and somehow it, it comes out that the, what happens in the interim, I can't even tell you, you know? <laughs> t I, I will tell you this, the harder you try, the less successful you are, uh -huh. which is counterintuitive, but it's really the way it works for me in any case, is if I just let it, let it be, mm -hmm. you know? And I think some of the best stuff that we've written, we've written in 20 minutes. The stuff you spend days on, you know, it's like you're beating it to death. You've got to get outside of your head sometimes, right? Yeah, exactly. So Get out of your own way. There, yeah, oh, there you go. Sure, get out of your own way. Yeah, yeah. Um, listen, we titled this show, uh, you know, All You Need Is Love, and we, we originally hoped we'd do it at Valentine's Day. World being as it is, we changed a little bit. But I would be remiss, just a little bit, if I, if I didn't prod you to tell me your love story where you guys you know where you met i you know i think you were probably I, I'm, I'm a betting man i say you know this is going to be you know back in the day in, the, in, in california but mm -hmm. tell me tell me about you know meeting each other and and where where you came from well it was um well i don't know is anything accidental i'm not sure <laughs> the universe describes what's happening i think but um my manager was looking for a producer for me. And at the time I was, I had a band and I was playing in the clubs in Los Angeles. And she, through an, another uh, friend, said, we're, you know, we're going to go out and see this band play. Uh, it's a showcase. And I thought, oh, great, another showcase. <laughs> <laughs> and so she picked me up and we went out to this um, rehearsal studio where this band was rehearsing for their showcase. And turns out that it was Richard and three other members from Santana who had recently just exited that band and put together their own band. And I sat there listening to this rehearsal thinking, oh my gosh, what is, what is this? This is so good. This, should, this needs to be a record, you know. So at any rate, they, um, they, they put together a great band in the interim. Uh, got to know everybody in the band, including Richard, and um, my manager started talking to him about um, producing me. And so that's how it came about. It took a little convincing because he was so wrapped up in this band project that he was doing. He just thought, I don't think I have time to take on a, another artist. But eventually we did, and we, we got the record made. And uh, so that's, that was the beginning of it right there. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. we just ended up continuing on working together and... The rest is history, as they say. Sure, and 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 honestly, love just kind of grows from wherever it does. Absolutely, I fell in love with Mary the first time I saw her. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> awesome. Sorry. Absolutely. Um, Mary and Richard, you guys are both such big supporters of what we do here at the yes. Bank Theater. Um, and, and you've, you've, you know, you've landed, the, I guess, back in Leamington, you've landed in Leamington, um, and, and we're just, we're so thankful for all you do, um, for us, and, and we love to support everything you guys do. Well, thank you very thank much. You so much. We and are yes. so impressed with what, uh, has been done here, and yes. we're so grateful to have this lovely theater to be able to perform and, and be, you know, here, um, w you know, performing for all the, the local people, you know, all the population here and, and meeting all the, the artists, the yeah. local artists has been really wonderful. There is just a, there really is a, just a nice base in this area. Um, and I, I'll tell you whether you guys are singing your originals or your uh, American songbook, if you will, or if you're doing your Linda Ronstadt show, <laughs> it is just a joy to listen to you sing there. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Appreciate Corey. it. And, and folks, if you have been enjoying this set with Mary and Richard so far, we do ask you uh, to give what you can and help support the arts here in Leamington. We want to get back into the music with more from Mary and Richard. Uh, this next song, we are all familiar with it because Roberta Flack made it a hit. And it was used in the movie Play Misty For Me. That was 1972. And, but this was written in 1957, so it had a long period of time of being in existence before it was actually made very popular.
to the dark And the endless skies My love The first Like the trembling heart of a captive bird who was there at my command, my love that was there. At my command, my love, the first I knew our joy would fill the earth and last to the end of time, my love, and the To the end of time, my love, the first time ever I saw your And lastly, as long as we're going back in time, this is a very special song that was written by Rogers and Hart and uh, goes back to 1937. My funny valentine Sweet comic valentine You make me smile with my heart Your looks are laughable Unphotographable Yet you're my Your figure less than Greek? Is your mouth a little weak? When you open 
Stay safe, stay warm, see you in the spring. Wow, what another wonderful performance from Mary and Richard. And folks, that's going to do it for the third evening of our All You Need Is Love Spring Fling. It is a virtual pass the hat, and we appreciate every dollar that you have been sending our way since the first night and throughout this evening as well. We do recommend it's a $20 ticket, but we're grateful for anything that you can afford, whether it's five, 20, or 50. And folks, for any donation, $50 and above, we're gonna make sure we put together a swag bag full of bank theater goodies just for you and we'll make sure it gets to you in a safe way as well. We've got one more night to go. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you very much to Mary and Richard for joining us and thank you for your generosity. My name is Corey Robertson and this is All You Need Is Love, Spring Fling Inside the Bank Theater. Mm -hmm.